Welcome back to The Merge, the wrestling guide for jiu-jitsu, powered by Fuji Sports. 2019 ADCC's Gordon Ryan versus Lucas Barboza. Uh, Gordon utilizes a elbow pass to create an angle, create an opening, and close the distance with Lucas. Now, unfortunately, uh, during this sequence, they do wind up going out of bounds. I would have really loved to see this play out, though, because Gordon lands in a pretty good position as they go out of bounds. Lucas did throw in a wizard on the way down, but he doesn't end up in that hip-to-hip, side-to-side uh, dogfight position where the wizard is very strong. Actually, as they're going down, Gordon circles to his left and ends up mounting Lucas's hip. So this takes away a lot of the power from that wizard. So typically, you'll see folks kind of bail from that wizard position and either give up the back or give up the takedown. Regardless, the elbow pass is a very high level wrestling setup to get to your opponent's legs. I don't see this utilized enough in jiu-jitsu and really what I wanted to go over today is just that elbow pass setup. All right, so what is an elbow pass? So what I want to talk about first is when I'm in a stance with my opponent, when I'm hand fighting with my opponent or if I'm looking to even take a shot, my opponent's arms are a line of defense for them, right? They can literally control my distance getting closer to their hips or their legs. So. What an elbow pass is, let's say I'm going for my opponent's left leg here, I'm essentially moving their arm out of the way. So there's two things. This arm can defend me attacking this leg. I'm literally going to move this arm out of the picture so it can't defend. Number two, moving the elbow in an elbow pass format like this is creating an angle, it's creating an opening and a straight line for me to attack this leg. Now, there's three uh, crucial elements you have to remember when you're doing an elbow pass. Number one is the C grip on the elbow here. Uh, I don't want to be too high, right? Because you could just power out of that and push back. I don't want to be too low or slide down on the forearm. I'm going down to where it's kind of clicking on those two pointy bones in the side of the elbows. This is a very strong spot for me, very weak spot for my opponent here. So I'm going to slide my C grip down to the very end of his elbow from here. Number two, when I elbow pass to the side here, I am not going to let go of this arm to attack with the same side arm from here, right? I'm going to use my opposite arm to attack my opponent's leg. Number three, when I do the elbow pass, I am not going to let go of this elbow until my shoulder beats his elbow line here. If I try and just push this to the side and take a shot and, uh, and le or let go first and take a shot, he's going to pull the arm right back. So I'm going to push the elbow across. My arms will be crisscrossed for a quick second, hold it until I actually connect with my opponent's leg and her hips to finish the shot. So Lucas and Gordon were hand fighting from here and Lucas posts on Gordon's far side shoulder. Uh, his elbow is already kind of midway past uh, Gordon's chest from here. So uh, Gordon saw this perfectly timed, right? Really quick and really strong elbow pass to the side. So strong, Lucas's weight actually, his angle shifted a complete 90 degrees. He went from facing Gordon to facing away from Gordon. Uh, Gordon lowered his level, went in for the shot. Uh, due to the drastic uh, angle change here, uh, that's why they kind of got in this exchange um, for that back take position, which why I'm going out of bounds. But like I said, focusing just on the setup from here, if you do want to get more mileage in this and drill this, there's many positions you could hit this elbow pass from. Uh, collar tie, outside control, and you know, inside control. And I'm gonna show you guys quickly from inside control. Uh, this is probably my favorite drill to do it from. Uh, inside control is a very, very strong position. Wrestling, jujitsu, whatever it is, right? Uh, a lot of times you'll see people kind of getting in pummel battles here. Well, my partner will try and pummel in to inside control and you know, trying to keep that uh, control from there. Um, I'm gonna try and set up my opponent from here. As they start to pummel on the inside, as their arm comes up like that, I'm sliding down to the elbow and I'm passing it by. It's a perfect time because they're letting go of your arm. They're coming underneath your arm to try and grab at the top. So as it gets underneath my arm and goes to grab, I'm pushing it across and stepping. So you can just do that as a drill for a little bit. They go to re-pummel inside, step, step. If you want to take it to the next level, after you pass the elbow by, you can go in for a shot just to make the connection. Or you can finish uh, the whole entire takedown, right? So do the elbow pass all the way to the double leg. Thanks for tuning in. For more episodes and more videos, check out The Merge on social media, and you can go to themergeonline.com to subscribe for free. I'll see you guys next time.